Hungary's nationalist Prime Minister Viktor Orban has um, injured his uh, country's uh, eastern neighbors, Romania and Ukraine, by wearing a football scarf adorned with a map of an expanded Hungary. The image uh, represents uh, Great Hungary, the old Hungarian imperial territory that existed before Austria-Hungary's uh, defeat in the World War I. Romania voiced uh, firm disapproval of uh, Mr. Orban gesture in a message to the the Hungarian ambassador to Budapest, Bucharest, I'm sorry. Ukraine demanded an official apology, but Mr. Orban's Facebook page has a video showing him greeting Hungarian footballers and sporting the scarf which he wore during a match between Hungary and Greece. About one and uh, two point two million ethnic Hungarians live in Romania and um, 150,000 in Western Ukraine. There have been tensions previously over Mr. Orban's efforts to promote Hungarian identity in both countries. To make this long story short, I would ask you the question, uh, are these ambitions in one thing, but real opportunity is in another thing? Are this opportunity uh, both military and financial and public support uh, to satisfy Orb Orb Orban's ambitions is uh, real? or it's a bluff or it's a game or it's showing off how wh what can we expect from uh, this situation and next actions of mr orban you know uh, it's a division of grandeur not more from uh, mr orban uh, because uh, scarf with uh, great uh, hungary it's uh, not more than uh, false uh, ideology because uh, great uh, hungary has never existed and uh, this is also uh, special for uh, hungarian people for not educated uh, monolingual uh, surf minded uh, people in Hungary and in the neighboring uh, country. And it also false uh, what Mr. Orban uh, said about 150,000 or 200,000 uh, Hungarian minority in Western Ukraine in Transcarpathia. Really, today we have no more than 40,000 Hungarians minority in Transcarpathia. And uh, thanks, thanks to Mr. Orban policy, a lot of uh, Hungarians uh, were immigrated from uh, Transcarpathia to Hungary because they are totally isolated as we uh, said today, and they can speak only Hungarian language. Uh, I think, and we also mentioned today about this, all this Orban policy connect with the election because uh, uh, he got from uh, Hungarian minorities in Romania, in Ukraine, uh, from other neighboring countries, 99% for his policy. That's it. That's it. So uh, one more quote from Radio Freedom. They are writing that Hungary is becoming more and more similar, not only to the fifth wheel in the Euro-Atlantic chariot, but also as the Trojan horse of the Kremlin in Europe. So uh, should we worry? I understand not so much. But on the other hand, as you said, uh, to conclude all our conversation, everything that Orban is doing as his wise politician, just to stay in his chair and to get money from Brussels. So that's the main point, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, Orban is uh, <laughs> not uh, uh, conventional uh, politics. And uh, one time he said uh, one speech and maybe one day later it, he, he can say uh, totally different uh, speech. And, uh, you know, it uh, not need to be trust to Mr. Orban and uh, what uh, he uh, can say it's uh, same as a tale same as a tale uh, not more and uh, uh, Hungary is a little weak uh, country totally depends from European funds